So what I have here is a 2005 uh, Chrysler uh, Crossfire and our transmission is in failsafe mode and we have a P0753 shift solenoid A electrical and uh, they replaced the uh, connector the connector that has that goes into the transmission and uh, it was leaking fluid out of there and we have no communication with the powertrain control module and no communication with the transmission control module uh, but we do have uh, communication through the OBD2 direct and that's where, where we're getting our code I disconnect the TCM for the transmission control module and scan it again and we still have that P0753 shift solenoid A uh, electrical and uh, I got my wire diagram here and I already checked uh, made sure that the connector was uh, assembled properly and all the wires are where they're supposed to go. What I didn't notice on the TCM connector was a transmission fluid in it and uh, when that connector leaks it goes through the wiring and as you see here there's transmission fluid in this connector. We had the uh, transmission fluid in here I already cleaned it out and the connection that goes for that one is the end one right here and this these two connectors were full of transmission fluid and uh, this little uh, relay box was uh, partially engulfed with a little bit of uh, transmission fluid so i already cleaned this out and i'm going to go ahead and reassemble everything and continue with the testing uh, i should have uh, started filming earlier on the diagnosis diagnosis process but uh, here we are, uh, no communication, TCM, PCM, uh, found some transmission fluid, and it does travel through the wiring, I've seen this before on old Mercedes uh, vehicles, and actually this Crossfire has a Mercedes transmission 722.6 unit in it, and whenever they leak through there, you see the same issue. See that transmission fluid? I'm going to go ahead and clean this out, and uh, see if we get communication with it now. Okay, here I'm inside the vehicle, and as we can see here, these wires are saturated with uh, transmission fluid as well. There's a, sp a spot of transmission fluid there. And this TCM connector that goes to the uh, solenoids, it's also uh, a little wet with, uh, with transmission fluid. It did not protrude inside of the TCM, it's a little moist. But it did not go inside uh, uh, of the TCM. I already opened this up and uh, it's dry inside. But the connector, it's, uh, it's wet with transmission fluid. This is very normal when that seal leaks. It travels through all the wiring. And I've seen the Mercedes vehicles that this transmission goes underneath uh, the TCM control module. Goes underneath the hood in the TCM box or in the uh, 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 computer boxes. And sometimes I see the TCM, it's all the way up with transmission fluid okay so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and plug everything back in and this is what I use to clean my uh, connectors uh, it works pretty good I'm gonna go ahead and uh, spray this on the on the contacts and clean this up plug everything back together and see we see if we have uh, communication after that okay I am in OBD2 direct and the code did not want to clear uh, let's go to uh, stored codes no codes are stored in module. Okay, I think we are about to communicate. I'm going to go ahead and escape the OBD2 direct. I'm going to go to Chrysler. And we're going to go from here. I think uh, we're going to have luck with this. Start new ses session. I'll accept below. Okay, my key's on. Two thousand and five uh, Chrysler Crossfire with a seven twenty two point six. So two thousand and five seven twenty two point six Mercedes transmission. Now let's see if we can communicate now with it. Okay, let's go to control unit, powertrain. Let's go to the engine control module. I had no communication with no computers whatsoever. And the vehicle was still 
uh, start and run, but the transmission was in fail safe mode. High gear starts. Okay, let's go ahead and read codes. Okay, we're still not communicating. One other module is probably affected here. Let's go to the transmission control module. Taking too long to communicate. There's no communication still in the system. Shift lever assembly. It does have a module. It's not communicating with that either. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start the vehicle and uh, and continue checking. Now I'm gonna have to check my uh, CAN system controller area network. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if uh, the transmission performs the way it should right now and uh, we go from there okay here what I'm looking at I got my uh, channel 1 on the uh, red and light green wire that comes from from the box from the relay box fuse number 1 and that feeds on to the uh, transmission control module and then I got my uh, lead uh, channel 2 on pin number 38 the red wire that's my uh, feed voltage for my solenoids and I have to have battery voltage going out to there on pin number 6 and as you can see here the transmission control module is not being capable of uh, producing uh, 12 volts that I need for my uh, shift solenoids to operate we got 3.92 volts as you see here and we do have a uh, good ground and we do have good power the vehicle is running right now we have 14.04 volts uh, which is uh, system voltage and of course we have good ground otherwise we wouldn't have that voltage and uh, here is the ground for the uh, transmission control module that brown wire and basically on one connector you have only three wires going in you have a power and the ground and uh, the, the SEI transmit that goes to the data link connector is the dark green is the leftover wire you see we got one two and three wires going into that one connector and then the other connectors they go to the uh, transmission assembly and here we have all the, the solenoids, this is our transmission, we have our uh, speed sensors, N1 and N3, and the transmission temperature sensor. All of this is inside the transmission itself. Uh, it doesn't have a vehicle speed sensor on the transmission, it does have it on the differential. And uh, that's why it is very important for the computers to communicate from one to another. And then we have our uh, uh, CAN bus positive and CAN bus negative. But that's another little connector on on the side right here. SEI transmit and SEI receive. Positive and negative for our CAN system. And this connector goes to our solenoids. And this connector goes to uh, our power ground and the data link connector. So what's the issue here? Transmission control module is not capable of producing enough voltage for our solenoids to work properly. Uh, what we can do here, we can induce uh, 12 volts on our solenoids and uh, we go from there. Okay, before we condemn the uh, transmission control module, even though it's not uh, capable of producing uh, 12 volts, I have my power probe here, 3.8 and my Vantage uh, 3.89 this is the output voltage for the solenoids the top is the uh, uh, system voltage the vehicle is not on right now that's why it's 12.43 when the vehicle is running it's at 14 volts so uh, before we continue with it 
I'm going to check the continuity for all the solenoids right here at the uh, TCM. Uh, instead of crawling underneath the vehicle, uh, we're going to do it through the TCM. Uh, we're going to put one end. Uh, actually, the uh, the power, we're going to put it on the, on the red wire, which is the feet bolt uh, voltage for our solenoids. And then we're going to uh, check every single solenoid individually. If we look at our wiring diagram here, we have a system voltage on one, on one end. So one end of the meter is going to be on the red wire. And then we're going to go wire by wire to check all of these solenoids inside of the uh, transmission itself here at the TCM connector. Okay, so looking at the wiring schematics here, uh, the resistance from the, from the power feed to the other end of the solenoids, uh, 6.2 on one, 6.0 on the other, 3.3, 5.0, 5.1, and 5.4, and only we have one uh, with low resistance, which is the TCCP PWM modulated solenoid, and then the rest of them should be close enough, and they should be two and a half to six and a half ohms, and everything, uh, all these uh, solenoids are within range, so we don't have an issue with the solenoids. Our issue here is going to be with the transmission control module, uh, and I have here what voltage should be uh, should we have on pin number six which is the red wire which is this wire right here we should have system voltage and we don't even have four volts there so the TCM is not capable of producing system voltage there so our TCM it's uh, it's our culprit here TCM is damaged and why did it get damaged uh, transmission fluid contamination okay so let me show you here uh, how I check the resistance on those solenoids. Okay, here I have I'm, I am on the uh, gray with black stripe wire, which is our TCCPWM solenoid, and we have 3.3 uh, ohms in resistance. The red wire it's our feed voltage, which is one end of the solenoid, and then the computer grounds each individual solenoid. Now let's move to another another wire here. Okay, let's uh, go to the green wire with a yellow trace. Six ohms resistance is within the range. I have already checked the rest of them and they are, they are all within range.